Saudi feminist activist uh, Luchain al Haslu sentenced to nearly six years in prison in Saudi Arabia. According to Saudi state-linked media, one of the kingdom's most prominent women's rights activists, uh, Luchain al Haslu, was found guilty on Monday, December 28th, and sentenced to five years and eight months by the kingdom's notorious anti Terryism court. For those new here, I don't say the full word, which refers to things like boom, boom, because YouTube doesn't like it. So um, an anti terryism court. Um, she was prosecuted under vague counter terryism laws. Um, her charges included pursuing a foreign agenda, agitating for change, using the internet to harm public order and uh, and cooperating with entities and individuals that have committed crimes under anti-Terry laws. She has been jailed since May of 2018, and 34 months of her sentencing will be suspended based on her several years of pretrial detention, where she endured sexual abuse, numerous hunger strikes, and stretches of solitary confinement. Her family said that she will be prohibited from leaving the nation for five years and required to complete three years of probation upon her release. She is set to be released roughly two months after the inauguration of President-elect Joe Biden, a move that analysts say is likely to be a point of contention between the new U.S. administration and Saudi's ruling elites. So for those who are not familiar, um, Luke Jane, I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing her name, mispronouncing her name, um, is famous for being an activist who fought against the male guardian system in Saudi Arabia and also fought for the right for women to be able to drive in Saudi Arabia. And she was imprisoned just months before Saudi Arabia actually made it legal for women to drive which has been interpreted as a way of the kingdom's ruling elites to um, demonstrate that, no, you don't get to drive for change. Change only comes from us down, okay? Um, so that's some background on her activism. She essentially gave, is one of the reasons why Saudi Arabia has these rights for women that the KSA now goes on the global stage as a marketing scheme to show how they're reforming, right? Meanwhile, she's been sentenced, she's been found to be a terrorist, basically. Um, so go ahead, you guys. I, I just want to, um, you know, keep going with what you were saying about the government's message of like, you don't get to demand anything. All is given to you by us. It's apparent because they charged her with advocating for change. That Ag is one agitating, agitating. Okay. Sorry. Agitating regardless the same thing. Like, so you don't have a right as a citizen to try and change something about your country that you don't like or to petition the government for redress of grievances or you know no the only thing that you can do is be passive and wait for it to be given to you but the thing is power concedes nothing you know ever so her doing what she did regardless of them then turning it around it still shows that she does or she did rather you know make have an effect oh 100 percent um real quickly um hara sultan is here saying terry is <laughs> guys everyone follow hara sultan on youtube or if you're an urdu speaker follow pakistani mulhid if you want to learn more about pakistan and um anti-Islam activism and that highlights um, issues in India and Pakistan a lot. So hi, Haras. Good to see you here. A celebrity is here. Um, um, I just wanted to say we skipped one. We're on five. Yeah, I know. I okay. Okay. We did sorry. Um, so a couple of things I wanted to say about this. Like, obviously, I think it's completely wrong that she has been found guilty of these charges, right? Um, for those who haven't been following the case, um, she was in 
basically, I can't remember if it was exactly a civil court, but it was a different kind of court. And she had been in that court system for the majority of her detainment. And then recently, she was very suddenly moved to this anti-terrorism court. Um, so she's been prosecuted and found guilty as a terrorist against the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, right? Um, a lot of people have been widely condemning her sentencing, and it is insane that she was found guilty of these things. However, I do think it is positive, and maybe this is just me being naive or trying really hard to find anything good about this, is that they actually are suspending most of her sentence because she already was detained. Um, uh, which just it makes me feel gross that like that's the best we can do here um but what do you guys think about what seems like very thoughtfully like the timing of this seems to be very strategic in terms of ksa's relationship with the united states like she's going to be released only two months into biden's administration yeah anybody that congratulates um the government of Saudi Arabia for any of this has no idea what they're, what's going on. Yeah. This is all just a PR move. Um, again, you can be happy for the people who are benefiting from this move without congrat congratulating Saudi Arabia. Every time they do something like this, it's, it's behind the scenes they're doing a lot more. Like this is it's very interesting because this um, MBS and whatever he's been doing, he has uh, committed a lot more crimes and has been spreading a lot of more misery, torture, torture, assassination, starvation of children, spreading of disease as a weapon. Um, and people are actually congratulating him for letting, you know, women drive or something like it's completely insane. Um, you could be happy for some woman in Saudi Arabia that now can drive while at the same time not give any credit or congratulate this government. This, go this government uses this media attention grabbing um, reforms uh, as a way to cover the higher number of crimes that they're committing compared to even before, right? Um, like women can drive now right after you go and arrest, you eliminate your political competition or anybody any form of dissent and you just give them feed the media with something so that you could uh, you know misdirect attention away from f some actual other issues you go and uh, uh, kill a whole bunch of general while at the same time you let women be part of the military or like women now you have the theater in saudi arabia or women can go now into stadiums now all of this is cover for a whole bunch of other stuff that is um they want you not to pay attention to okay again you could at the same time be like eh, it's great that in saudi arabia people could go to theater now but please 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 like you could be happy about that at the same time at the same time as knowing that this government is evil uh and they are the crimes that they're committing is astronomically higher than what any of these reforms could represent. Anyways. Mm -hmm. yeah. I was just going to say like what you were saying about, Oh, congratulations for, you know, uh, it just seems like, so someone's throwing you some scraps and you're supposed to congratulate them while you're sitting on the floor starving and they're eating a big meal. They throw you a little scrap and you're supposed to congratulate them for, you know, a tiny bit of humanity. No, I just, I find it that kind of attitude kind of, disgusting you know really you decided to get into the 18th 19th century Ooh, yeah um really quickly render unto caesar gave us a five dollar super chat with no comment thank you thank you um, and yeah just to clarify when i said that i'm like glad that she's getting out in two months that is in no way me thanking the saudi yeah. regime for doing so that's literally just so that she will no longer be in an environment where she is being um tortured sexually abused and so forth and she still has to complete uh five years probation and then even then she, no three years probation and then an additional two more years after that she can't even leave the country so i'm hoping that she gets the f out of saudi as soon as possible um um i like how queen fabi says woman every time i leave, leave she's she's not dealing woman take over that's like <laughs> del Cui uh, is saying susanna slowly wait <laughs> susanna slowly but surely conquering this channel <laughs> okay 
Um, secular uh, Putin saying, why do they why do they do activism when they know it will end badly? Because they care, and because of the every single uh, right and freedom you guys enjoy today is because somebody took that risk, right? So someone bled for that. Yeah. Um, what was another? Let me see. Member comments. KSA needs Papa U.S. protection from Iran, hence the PR stunt. Yeah, that's a very good summary. Yep. Uh, Katie saying, take away a big chocolate uh, from a kid, and when they cry for one over an hour, give them a small candy and accept, expect them uh, to be congratulated for giving a candy to a crying kid. That's Saudi Arabia. I very much agree with this analogy because a lot of these uh, civil, uh, basic rights that have been taken away from is basically so you could give it back when you're in trouble, right? Um, however, I do not like it, the analogy, because I do, not give, sugar. <laughs> do not give candy or chocolate to children. That's very harmful. Um, don't poison your kids. Um, Hossein is saying one of the biggest disappointments of uh, Trump's era was his buddy buddy attitude with Saudi. Yes, I agree with that. That's likely uh, to change under Biden, which is yeah, why. Uh, chop, chop, chop. Next person, please. What is this? I don't know what that means. Um, oh, actually, Katie predicted what I'm gonna say. Don't give a lecture yeah. on sugar candy, please. Nope, there's no way. No, I'm sorry, I have to. I'm sorry. Um, uh, you have to. No, I'm not sorry. What am I talking about? Um, <laughs> we all, all right. know what's coming. The kid's going to eat candy at their friend's house, anyways. You know that, don't you? Not if I fill them with good food so that they. For uh, even propaganda? If they, no, no, no. If I. Anti if I, candy pro. No, I'm going to just make sure that they're so full before they go there. So when they eat candy, they eat less candy. Anyways, anyways. Well, we got oh, a fight. Wow. Them. We got another super chat from D. Thank you, D, saying women leaving religion is so important. Highlight them every time. They are the biggest oomph <laughs> to tradition. That's very true. And also subscribe to our newsletter because if we get removed from all these uh, platforms, at least we could reach out to you. And guys, by the way, if you subscribe to our newsletter, you get a free copy. Uh, why there's not, where's your copy, Susanna? Get it, get it, get it. They're doing promotion. You get a free, it's not even promotion, it's free. Okay, so if you subscribe to our newsletter, link in the description, you get a free copy of Why There's No God. Ah, come on, like I'm handing it out for free. Okay, it's a bestseller on Amazon and you get it for free. So subscribe to our newsletter and you get a free copy of Why There's No God sent to you. Link in the description.